know if I ever stalled in the recording, but now I'm sure I am. Anyway, see that column B49? We might say why. And I said, because ever since they added column to the skill, it made my skill below 50. Now, instead of collecting my fish minion or fishing for an hour, or um, talking to people, or paying, or, or, or paying for Slayer, I'm like, no, I'm going to do carpentry because it makes me money. And I said, well, yeah, it makes you like maybe a mill. No, not that type of carpentry. This kind of carpentry. And you might say, well, that's from the potatoes. Yes, yes, they are. Now, whether your buy offer is as small as your dick or as large as your mother, it doesn't really matter. As long as you got like 10 mil purse, you're good. Anything below 10 mil and, um, yeah, no. Let me explain to you why carbon tree is a man of the skill. Let's say you start with farming. Okay, well, that, you just farm sugar cane, you get out to 50. Okay, now you spend 7 E cane a day, you know, maybe it's even down to 4, right? 5. So you can channel 60, you wait a month, right? And then by now you probably have fallen fifty. Now let's say that you know, let's say you get a nice fish minion, tier eleven, just one of them. And then with the rest of the farming money, you get a decent slime minion setup. Not even just tier elevens with budget hoppers, like a budget, really budget setup. After let's say two months, you, you gotta you gotta set up like mine. Right? That's just all the means are the same exact, you know, right? So you have to be plasma of it, you know, just you know, magma or enchanted bucket with e hoppers and corrupted soil. T11, mm, that's it, right? Well, that's gonna be generating, I don't know, 25 mil on the low end. So that's enough to fund a hyper catalyst for your fish minion and a tier 5 beacon. Right? Buy that, you know, I save up. Okay, well, um, that's how you're gonna fund your fishing. Now let's go into combat. You do some slayer. No, you have these not combat, but you're broke. And the minions aren't doing enough for, you know, the fish minion. So, you do mine. Now, when does carpentry come into this? Oh, well, you cracked a, a you know, T3 sugar cane hoe. What is that, 200k? Oh, let's say you, you, you craft all of, all of your sugar cane. I, I crafted manually, I don't know if it manually, but you know. 2000, you're not gonna fucking craft. You're not getting a hundred million coins. No. Maybe you get like 12 million experience max from farm, which is, that's, that's not horrible, but, right, so. The mining, you're not gonna manually fucking compact your titanium. You're not gonna manually compact 20, you're not gonna manually compact millions of fucking mithril. It's not worth the XP, right? So, right, so you have, you know, minions for that, those two are done from that, that's done from that, that's done to get that done, and then once you're done, you, you, you do dungeons, right? Taming is the most fucking passive. Just throw any goddamn pet on it. Um, so, the day that they removed Super Compact, uh, fuck, getting carbon XP from personal compacting was the day that carbon tree became manually, manual skill, not a passive skill. Because, man, dude. If I got comedy for the 70 fucking million sugarcane I collected, the 50 million melons I collected, the 26, 27 million mithra I've collected, the million plus titanium I've collected, man. It's almost like every fucking player would have carpentry 50. Every player with above. Two IQ points. Fuck it. We'll put it the, the best way. So, yeah. Anyway, we ain't done yet. So now I'm gonna show you the two. Now I only do one way, but there's two good. Oh, only the 
can't, I don't, I, there's two ways to do this. Do whatever you want. Now, here's my way. You have one chest. You have one, you have, for me, it's like six chests at this point. But you have, you know, some chests for paper. If you only have one chest, that's fine. You got a chest for baked potatoes. All right. Now, what you do is I set up like this for a reason. Now, I go from like here to here. I boom, boom, boom. Now you get the point. Now another way to do it is you just go boom, boom, boom. Or I guess it'd be boom, boom, boom. But that row is actually baked potatoes. And that row is actually baked potatoes. So it's boom, 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 boom. All done in one chest. Those are your two ways. And then technically a stack and a half isn't truly op optional. I could technically put one more here and like one more in all of those. But that only saves me about two orders. And when I literally have, you know, okay, it would technically be like four orders. But when I have 120 plus fuck, oh, that's what it is. 120 or more fucking orders. Obviously not at once. I can only have 21. <coughs> Those four orders end up being into the sword by the end anyway. Tip number two. If you have a money making method, that is maybe crafting, I don't know, um, anything that requires, in the forge, anything that requires materials to be resolved, which is basically fucking all of them. And to make sure that you make money while insta buying, or time it where, okay, while well, I'm buying baked potatoes, or I'll buy my worm membrane, or I'll buy my sludge juice, or I'll buy. My whatever, right? Those are the only two ones that I specifically know that, you know, how, you know, you buy your mithril, you buy your titanium, right? By the way, don't do the rare boots, you make way more bad, way more. Um, you know, depending on how much you're moving, um, depending on how many you're crafting, you'd make more, figure, do you kind of interest that you make more money doing your forge? Do you prioritize the food? If you make more money like me, doing the potatoes, do the potatoes. Don't be a dumbass. Okay. Uh, anything else? Um. Oh yeah. Don't be an asshole when buying your potatoes. Let me explain. So, what what's wrong with this? T tell me, please tell me what's wrong. Cause this is fine. Okay. Well, it's almost fine. But if you if you're always someone who's Sell off with baked potatoes. Don't hugely undercut your everyone else. Undercut them by point one coins. Lose ten coins for every thousand potatoes, right? That's twenty five million baked potatoes. If you sell twenty five million baked potatoes, you're losing ten coins by a point one zero difference. But don't be the asshole being like Oh my God! Someone's selling it for nine nine nine. You know, you know, number nine nine nine. I'm gonna sell for number eight. A hundred. Sorry. How much money are you losing? Was that one eight? Was that one eighty two? One eighty two. What is it? One eighty two. Sorry. Uh, sell off of for five. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. One forty two. 142 times fucking what? 18899, eight, okay, that. You're missing out on 200,000 coins just to have your shit sell faster. At that point, fucking sell off of it. Now, if you're buying, don't over. So, I've had a buy off of a few hundred, you know, 5,100 know, sell off, a few hundred sell, okay, I'll be. You know, Put, you know, pull enough, you know, and I do exact. So, like, 4,839, right? Okay. Why the fuck is it 5 million coins more? Oh, yeah, can some asshole fucking overcut someone for a 1,000? Someone else overcut them for a 1,000? Someone else... Just fucking do it by the point one, right? Look at that. Look at that. It's 21.9, 22, 22.2... And then it jumps to fucking 500. Like, the motherfucker with the 2500 sell offer 
is fucking paying an extra million goddamn coins. A million coins is like fucking 22 baked potatoes. It's like fucking 25. Listen, everyone except for the people in Sasang, but who gives a fuck about them, makes more money by just not being an asshole. Listen, I've seen this shit go from fucking 42 and a half thousand coins of potato to fucking 47. Because some assholes that I want to fill my offer. You know that's what I want to fill mine. I want to fill mine. Want... Just don't fucking do it. And by the way, anyone who has large ass offers, like anything to be over 500, I just feel like have to be fucking do it. Like they have to be. They just have to be either just flipping the potatoes, which is your first mistake, or they're just crafting multiple mathematics, like two or three fucking hoes. Who is seriously spending? Thir- How much is a T3 potato hoe? 15 mil? So what's that after buying your, bl- your blueprints? You're not making any fucking money. So if you see someone with an offer of like, you know, 200, 300, you know, in the thousands, they're probably doing what you're doing. And then if you're some little guy like, man, I just want to max out my T3, right? How much is this for a stack? That's, that's, that's a bit more than a stack. So if I were to insta buy, it's about three, that's going to cost me about 3.3, okay? Now, I buy an offer. Then we got is is one point two million coins truly gonna break the bank? If it is, form the extra twenty fucking enchanted. You can farm the extra million potatoes. It's gonna help the counter. Listen, dog. All I'm telling you. All I'm telling you. If you see some big motherfucker, right? Want to see some big motherfucker? A whale, maybe. Spending 200 mil on fucking hot potatoes. Don't be an asshole. Now, if you're feeling really petty, yeah, you can raise the price by 10k. But first off, you really want to fucking raise the price for everyone? Because now, the people who fucking buy the potatoes, other people, you know, maybe people who are just like, man, you know, I want to grab some hot potato, you know, I want to grab some armor. Get some hot potato for my armor, you know? Like, you fucking dumb over. Alright? You fucking... You know, the people with, with you know, tune in with Nylon Skylock. 3,000 people have 10 bill. Right? 3,000 people have 10 bill. 3,000 times 10. That is 30 fucking trillion. I, I think. 10 bill, 3k, 10 is 100, 100 is a. B- 100. That has a 300 or three thirty bill. 300 bill, stop, trill, sounds more accurate, but it could be 30 trill, it, you know, you get the point. 10 times 3 is what? 30? Yeah, it's like 30, it's like 60, it's like, yeah, 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 so. Don't <laughs> If you're genuinely going to jump the price by, what, a thousand coins? They literally just insta buy. Look at that. Someone, some asshole just jacked it by another 500. So now it's like what? Oh, it's a 200k difference. You can't spend the 800k? Then literally go farm the 16. That's literally what it comes out to. Okay? So yeah. Um. Listen. Alright, so I explained to you why... This shit ain't gonna happen normally. If it is, that's because you're crafting 54 fucking tier 3 weed hoes, which is tens of billions, or at least a billion, so you're not that dumb, right? So this is 
you know, if, if you're rich out there, if you can afford, you know, max out the van, max the van on the recom jaded good gemstones, you know, this video ain't for you, you know, you know, it's just, it's really not for you, but you know, if, if, if you have 20 mil, 10 mil, you want to grow it to 50 mil or one, good fucking luck, cause I'm out here, you know, while you're resetting off of I'm fucking making new ones, so I don't even notice, right, but um, listen, hey, if, if I'm asleep at fucking 2 p.m., you be up by 2 p.m., fucking standard American time, whatever, Mid-time? Mid, 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 mid I don't know. Now we're not talk, sorry, yeah. I, no, but, um, yeah, um, yeah, uh, w one more thing. Remember, that goes to those two, that, sorry, that goes to that, that goes, oh yeah. Then the god pot, the more god pot juice, from this, it allows you to stay for longer, which means you need more money, which means you do this, which means you have more money to do this, and then you spend all your money on your box to get that maxed, okay? Now, carbon tree doesn't come into play. Okay, well, cut to Jujubo. What's that, 100k? You're not gonna class 500 fucking Jujubos. That's 5.4 bill, right? Okay, well, it literally would cost you about two bill to do the hot potato book. But you making 200 mil off that shit. You making 100 mil off that shit, right? Okay, now let's say you, um, mining. There's nothing about carpentry and mining. Like, I'll say the Ford, you don't, you don't crash shit. Farming? It's, I mean, if, if you're farming 60, you're going to have some tours of fucking insane counters, right? Like, what is it, 80 million? Let me think, what, what, 80 mil? Divide that by 160. That's it, wait, did I fuck up the math? I think I might have. Dude, I'm sorry. For the amount of sugarcane I have farmed on this hill, I'm going to count it, which is 80 mil. I even undercutted it. I'm not fucking... I, I'm i not manually crafting 200 fucking mil. Back then, it would have been worth four-fifths of the, of the current price, I think. Or five-sixths of the current price. I'm not crafting 170 mil of fucking sugarcane. Okay, times that number by 2K, it's, it's like 1921, it's like 1920, I'm sorry. I, I would've got 60 mil, probably maybe 10 mil with everything combined if I manually crafted it. That's a fifth of the way. So you either have to be a farming addict and they only farm potatoes, then manually craft the enchanted potatoes, the enchanted potatoes, in the hot potato, into bait, hot and chan bait potatoes, in the hot potato books, or you had to do a shit ton of farming, and even then, you'd have to farm 500 plus million children, you know, maybe it's possible, but yeah, okay. Mining, it's not gonna happen. In combat, you're not crafting the zombie flesh, you're not crafting the endoclerg, you're not crafting the string, you're not, you never seen that shit in your inventory, if you do, you'd sell your sacks. Forging. Maybe growth armor, what's that, 100k for all? Fishing, every, nothing goes to a compactor, like there's nothing to compact, because you just, inst you just sell your inventory out of a sack. Enchanting, you're not gonna come back to your fucking XP model. Alchemy, you're brewing. Dungeoneering, what are you crafting a juju bow? What are you crafting a fucking hype? No. So, to man, to get it just playing throughout the game, is gonna 